Hi, welcome to another video. It has been quite some time since I've told you guys about any new co-pilot setup that allows you to auto-complete and stuff. So, today, I'll be telling you just that. Especially since the new Haiku model has been launched, it made sense to do a little bit of this video. Although, this video won't be just about that, because I'll be covering three free co-pilot setups and one cheap but paid co-pilot setup using the new Claude 3.5 Haiku model that you can have right now and use quite easily. So, let's talk about them. For the co-pilot application, I'll be using Continue as it's the best one and fully fleshed out. Plus, it supports Olama and everything we'd want. But apart from this, we'll be configuring it in four ways today. One way is locally, and the other two ways are with a free API. And another way is configuring it with an API from Anthropic. Locally, we'll be using small LM2 today, as it was recently launched, and is actually better at coding than Quen 2.5 Coder. It is pretty good when used in a co-pilot-like scenario. Plus, it's super small and can be run easily on any computer. It will allow for a fully private and local setup for those who prefer that. While, if you don't want to be as private and local, then you can use the Codestral API. Now, Codestral is by Mistral, and most of you would know from my previous videos that Codestral has a free API with literally no rate limits. We can configure it with Continue and use it all we want for auto-completion as well as chat, which should be pretty cool to use as it's also a recommended configuration by Mistral themselves. Also, remember that Codestral is a different API than the Mistral Free API, and they both have different rate limits. Apart from this in the Free API, I'll also be telling you how you can use it with the new Grok API that gives you around $25 of free API credits per month. So it cycles through the API credits, which is pretty good per month. I won't be using this for the auto-completion because it's not made for that, and I'll be only using it for the chat. For the paid version, I'll also be telling you how you can use it with the new Haiku as well. It's very good in coding. So, I'll also tell you how you can configure it with that as well, and it should be pretty good, and might be a great one to use if you would like to pay a little bit. There's also the GitHub models and API as well, which I'll also tell you about. Anyway, let's get started and check it out. First of all, let's start with the small LM setup. To set it up, we'll need to first download Olama. For that, go to Olama's site, Click on the download button, choose your operating system, and get it installed. Once installed, go to the models page and select small LM2. Now, there are multiple options of the models that you can use, but the best one is the biggest one, which is almost a 2 billion parameter model. So, let's just get that set up. Just copy the command and paste it in your terminal, and it should get installed. Once installed, just send a message and make sure that it works. Now, let's get Continue installed. To do that, just go to VS Code and in Extensions, search for Continue and get it installed. Once done, just open it up from the sidebar. It is recommended that you port the Continue extension to the right side of your VS Code. So, just do that. Once done, just get Olama added as a provider and select Auto Detect. Once you do that, you'll see all your Olama models as providers in the drop down. Just select Small LM and you can easily use it for chat and stuff. It actually works well for basic code explanation and stuff. But the major thing that we want to do here is use it as an auto completion provider. So, to set it up, just click the Settings option. Now, here in the tab Autocomplete Provider, just change it to small lm2 like this. Once you do that, just save it, and then it will start with the auto-completion. 
the auto-completion works pretty well, and I don't see much difference from Quen 2.5 coder. But the best part about it over the Quen coder is that it has better English understanding and general understanding, which helps in simple chat as well, which is pretty good if I'm using it where I don't have internet access for some reason. But what if you don't want to compromise on quality and you're fine with communicating with an API? Well, then the best way that I see is using the Codestral API. I was using Supermaven in between, but ever since I shifted to Codestral, I can't go back because the auto-completion suggestions are some of the best I've seen. Plus, it's fully free, which is amazing. To configure it, just go to Matral's site, go to the Codestral option, get the API key, and keep it in a safe place. Also, take the API key from Mistral as well, because I'll also tell you how to configure it as the chat model in Continue for Simple Chat. Anyway, once you have the API key, let's configure it. First, let's configure it as an autocomplete provider, then we'll add it to chat. So, let's go to the settings here. Now, here, just change this tab autocomplete provider to Mistral, model to Codestral latest, and add the API key like this. Once you do that, and it looks something like this, just save it. Now, the auto-completion should start working. The auto-completion from it is pretty good and pretty fast for sure, but it can't match the instantaneous completions from local models. I prefer using this when I can, but the local model is also super amazing and super fast and the suggestions are mostly very good. But we would also need to have a good model in the chat interface as well. So, you can just add the Codestral model in auto-completion by just adding it here and entering the API key. This will get it added, and you can chat all you want because it's free, and there are no rate limits in Codestral. But, if you want a slightly better model in chat, you can also use Mistral Large, which has pretty generous limits. To add that, just add a new provider and select it here. Now, enter the Mistral API key that you got from the site. It's different from the Codestral API key. So, once you do that, you can start using it and chat with it as well. So, that's how you can configure the auto-completion. Now, Maybe you also want a slightly fancier model for chat and are fine with paying for it. Well, then you can add the Claude 3.5 Haiku model and use that. So, adding that model is quite simple and continue. To do that, just click the Add Provider option and just select Anthropic. Now currently, you won't see the Haiku model. But don't worry. Just choose the Sonnet model and then enter your API key and save it. Once done, just go to the settings file, and here, change the model name from Sonnet to Haiku like this. Once done, you can start using Haiku in the chat interface. It is pretty good for coding, and very comparable to Sonnet encoding, although not as good. But still, it's one of the best, cheapest models. But what if you want to go a little fancier but don't want to pay? Well, then you can use GitHub Models API because it gives you access to the GPT-40 and GPT-40 mini models for free with some rate limits. But it is pretty amazing, to be honest, at least for the chat over here. So, let's get this configured as well. Just go to GitHub Models and create an API token here. Once you do that, just take that API key and this URL. Now, just go to Continue, and here just add a new provider and choose Azure OpenAI here. Once you select that, select the GPT-40, then enter the API key as well as the base URL like this. Then enter anything in the engine as it is not necessary in this case. Once done, just save it, and you can now use GPT-40 for chat, which is pretty good. If you want to use another model from GitHub Models, 
You can change the model name by going to the settings file, which also works pretty fine. Like, the GPT-4 O-Mini model that is available on it should give you a similar kind of result to Haiku. But still, Haiku would generally be better. Now, there's also another option, which has recently launched, and I wanted to cover that as well. So, this one is the Grok option. Grok is currently giving out free $25 credits, which is pretty good for sure. So, I also want to tell you how you can use it as well. Just go to the XAI site and get the API key from there. It's pretty simple. Once you have that, go to Continue and select OpenAI. Now, just enter your API key here. Once done, just open the settings and add an API base element here with the XAI base URL like this, and also change the model name like this. Once done, save it, and now you can use the Grok model as well. It's pretty good for sure, and it is also good in coding. If we talk about continue, then you can do a bunch of stuff with continue, and it can also do what cursor can do. Like, you can select a block of code and ask it to change something in the code, which is pretty good. And there are a bunch of other things you can do. It also has a composer-like feature as well. So, you can ask it for any change here while referencing the code base. And then it will give you the change, which you can just apply by using the Apply button, then accept it. Isn't that what Composer does? So, that's super cool. Plus, for additional stuff, you can also use Ader and Klein, but that's not the topic of today's video. So, this is a super cool co-pilot for your coding that is very minimal, non-overwhelming, and fully free. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.